Don't you hate it when you order a donut and accidentally unleash an all-consuming donut hole that destroys your home and the homes of everyone you know? Yeah, me too. Gotta say though, it's not so bad being on the other end of it. You can be the hole in Donut County, which is a physics puzzle game that has a silly story with tons of trash, sarcastic animals, and an ever-growing chasm of doom. This game is what you get when you combine the gameplay of Katamari Damacy with the graphics and feeling of Untitled Goose Game, and it's so fun to play. It was made by a dude named Ben Esposito, and it goes for 13 bucks on Steam, and you can also find it on PlayStation. Though it's fun to play, this game is pretty damn short, giving me only two hours of gameplay. That being said, is Donut County worth playing? Donut County's gameplay is simple. It plays like a reverse Katsumari Damacy. Instead of rolling a ball that gets bigger as you stick things onto it, you control a hole that grows as you make things fall in. You start by collecting tiny items like rocks and mugs, and eventually your hole grows into a giant hole, capable of consuming this dog, his house, and everything else. You don't just shut your brain off and enjoy putting things into a hole. Well, you do, but that's not all there is to it. There are simple puzzles in each level which make you think creatively to destroy the lives of all the innocent animals of Donut County. The puzzles are easy to solve but still satisfying, especially when the puzzles involve turning your simple donut hole into a fire-spitting death trap, lighting shit on fire and collecting what's left. Every item you collect gets put into the Trashopedia, which gives you snarky descriptions for everything that falls in. The Trashopedia entries are equally as ridiculous as the rest of the game, and always gave me a good laugh. Along with the Trashopedia entries, the game sprinkles in a bunch of mechanics as you go along, challenging you to find new ways to get as big as possible. In this one you need to throw a frog in the air to catch flies, and in this one you consume two bunnies to make a thousand. There's always new mechanics like these to figure out, which always keeps the gameplay fresh and fun. While putting things in a hole is a straight up good time, it feels limiting with how small each level is. There's nothing quite like the feeling in Katsumari Damacy where you grow your ball enough to consume continents, and I went through this game waiting to experience that, but it never happened. The levels are all pretty small, and when you finally grow big enough to consume a house, it's already over. Overall, the gameplay is simple but satisfying, and the mechanics it introduces throughout keeps it interesting the whole game. Controlling the hole isn't the only part of this game. The gameplay patches itself together by telling the story of how these poor animals first ended up in this pit, 999 feet below Donut County. The quick answer is because of this raccoon, who runs the local donut shop, and apparently has an app on his phone capable of destroying civilization. When the fine animals of Donut County order a donut, they get a prompt delivery of destruction instead. The story of this game is straight up nonsense, and it's great. You start the game off in a text conversation ripe with duck emojis and sarcasm, which is exactly how I would text if anyone texted me anymore. And that's Donut County in a nutshell, a sarcastic and ridiculous story written with duck emojis. Honestly, the story doesn't matter all that much, but that's okay, we all know we're just here to put shit in a hole anyway. The graphics fit this game perfectly. It's simple but charming, and it kinda reminds me of the graphics in Untitled Goose Game. The animations are smooth, and the physics work just the way you think it should. Each level has their own theme, and the environments that come with them are unique, vibrant, and full of life. That is, until you destroy it all. The soundtrack is right on par with the graphics. There's a song for every level, and it always perfectly captures the mood of each scene. The music is all great, and gives the game its laid-back and casual mood that fits it so well. As a sample for you, all the music used in the background of this video is from the game. Donut County is just plain fun, and it's not just because the core gameplay is awesome. It's also because of the crazy world and characters it builds. The characters and dialogue are all silly and sarcastic, and it has the perfect amount of dumb humor to get a good chuckle. The puzzles are ever-evolving and satisfying to solve, giving me the best time I've ever had collecting trash. With the 2-3 hour playtime though, I can't recommend buying this game at its normal price. Don't get me wrong, this game is absolutely worth playing, but wait for it to go on sale. You can get it for less than 5 bucks, and it's absolutely worth the wait. Hi, I'm Indie Lad. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. 
If you know of any indie games that you'd like to see me review, leave them in the comment section below. I'm always looking for new indie games to play, and I want to play them all. I'll see you in the next one.